Okay. So Be'ezrat Hashem. Now we continue. We continue. Perek Kuf Tetzayim. Pasuk Yud Bet. It's, uh, although it's one Perek, in the Sidurim, it's split as one one Perek of its own, right? One portion of its own. Ma'ashiv Lashem. And uh, now start the praise of David Amelech after he has seen the Yad Hashem, he has seen the Beracha of HaKadosh Baruch and the protection of Hashem, right? And he has internalized and went all the way down to a level of Daloti Veli Yehoshua, yeah? To a level of uh, he's a nobody. And there also he found the Geula, the, the, the light of redemption of HaKadosh Baruch and of protection of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Because of the fact, because of the fact that Leo Shua, Akosba will never leave me alone, because of the schut of the, of the Ma'ala, that, that the, at the end we are Am Israel, we are Bet Israel, right? For the fact that we're Bet Israel. So now, Ma Ashiv Lashem. Ma Ashiv Lashem. What? Can I, how can I answer Le Hashiv is to respond, right, to Hashem. Kol tagmulohi alai. All the good, kol the tagmulav, milashon gemul, gomel hasadim, kol tagmulohi alai, gomel hasadim, right? He he rewards his all his relation. It's it's it comes. He says here the Ibn Ezra says his relation Aramit. Kol tagmulohi alai tagmulad. Yeah. The the Malbim says tagmulohi. He says, he, he gave me life after I lost hope. Incredible definition of kol tagmulohi alai. Shehiyani ahar ha-yehush ha-gadol haze. And here it's really worth introducing the Malbim so that we understand the Maharal. And he says the Malbim, ikar ha-tova eino ha-chayim. He said the greatest good that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave him after he was in such a dark place. David HaMelech, we know, right? We, 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 we're right after Ani Amarti Bechovzi Kol Adam Kozev. I was in such a dark place, right? That I lost my hope on humanity. Kol Adam Kozev. All humanity, they're all bad. Yeah? They're all bad. They're disappointing. You want disappointment? The definition of disappointment is humanity. That's how much, that's how dark David Amelech saw, saw humanity. Until he had to find within himself the, the, the emunah, like we said in last year. Says the Malbim, he said the greatest tova, the tova that HaKadosh Baruch Hu did to David Amelech was not that he gave him life after that darkness. is that he gave him the opportunity to say thank you after the darkness. He says, It's not the fact that HaKadosh Baruch gave him another cycle of life. He brought light again in his life. That's great. That's what I, we have to say thank you. The says, Kol tagmulohi Allah, you gave you you were so merciful, so kind, so nice. You gave me again an opportunity to say thank you. Life, according to David Melech, is an opportunity to say thank you. So it's not about how much light I get and how much beracha I get and how much satisfaction in life I get. That's not the definition of life according to, or, or chesed according to David Amelech. 
it starts with the opportunity to say thank you. I can say thank you for me, it's life. That's life. That's life. More light. The bigger thank you and more thank you and more thank you. A complete different approach of the definition of life. Is that why we say Barachot? No. We say Barachot, but that, that, uh, there is also, and we say Barachot, we spoke about it, because you're not allowed to enjoy this world until. Okay. But that's a thank you, right? Hashem created the food. There's more, there's not. There's, there's, you have Barachot of Shvach, of praise. We have a Nehini, to say thank you. He, yes, essentially, the, the thank you starts from there. But David Amelech, his, his, his statement is way before the enjoyment and say thank you for the enjoyment. He said, the fact that I can say thank you is life. And then I enjoy from life, so I say thank you. But the opportunity to say thank you is the definition of life. Ma ashiv l'ashem. What, what can I say to Hashem? Because everything's a chesed. Kol tagmulo hi alai. He showered me with all his good. Is that, what does it mean he showered me with all his good? He gave me the opportunity to say, to say thank you. That's all I need. That's all I need. Do you understand the power of satisfaction, of strength that comes after you have this set, uh, mindset? The power that a person gains in life from that mindset of, being thankful. of not being thankful, of having the opportunity to be thankful. What is life? The opportunity to say thank you. By the way, that's a nice book. Uh, name of <laughs> the opportunity to say thank you. An opportunity to say thank you. That's going to be our next book. Next, I don't know, but that name, yeah. Okay. That's the definition of Chayim. Ma Ashiv Lashem. Now, Ma Here there's a Sod Al Piya Kabbalah. Yes. Nachon, bravo. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Adam 45, Ma is 45, but we also have an, an one of the names of Akadosh Baruch Hu is 45. We have, uh, if you write, there's a way, it's four ways of writing Yud Kevav Ke, the Milui. You know what Milui is, right? When you open the letters and you write the full letters that are, uh, it, that, that are referring to four different worlds. Av Sag Ma Ben, Av is 72. If you write Yud Kevav Ke with all the letters, the, the in, inside letters yud, so yud vav dalet, he yud, vav yud vav he yud, 72. Sag, yud vav dalet, he yud, vav alef vav he yud, 63. Okay, first one, av is the world of Atsilut, the Kisa Kavod, where the Kisa Kavod uh, transit. Uh, Olam Abriya, the world of creation from nothing. Which is the world of the Nishamot. Olam Ayetsira, the third world is the world of, of uh, completion of creation, which is the world of Yetsira, the world of Yetsira, third world. This is Yud Kevavke with Aleph, Yud Vav Dalet, He Aleph, Vav Aleph Vav, He Aleph, Gematia 45. Yud Vav Dalet is 20. Yud Vav Dalet 20. He Aleph 6. He Aleph 6. Vav Aleph Vav 13. Correct? Yeah. He Aleph 6. So 20 plus 6, 26. Plus 13, 39. Huh? Yeah. Plus 6, 45. Is that the reason why Adam is called Adam? You have a die. A die. Adam, because the, the, the real definition of Adam is his neshama, right? That's, so he's not from Adama. No, it's Adam. He's 45, which is, which is uh, him, she, she who live, and he controls the... the uh, 
عاد عاد بريزيدنسي هنا 45 بريزيدنت اللي عاد بين كودش لخول شباب هي ديد هي بروت هي بروت يخزير ملخوت هي بروت باك دو ملخوت وعمي اسرائيل تو ذا وورلد فهمت هنا زي ما كومنت تو ساي يستدي اي واز ان اي واز ان ان واشنطن دي سي for the one year anniversary of the Abraham Accord between Israel and Morocco. Amazing. It was very nice, very nice. But, and I say it, and I say it, recorded, is I was saddened that nobody said thank you to, uh, to, to uh, the President Trump or to yeah. the administration and charity. I can understand that it's, it's uh, an organization, it's not an individual, but in our heart, Tatov and Am Israel and maybe maybe you know, at least the, the one for sure the one that had to say it is if not the organization or the state of Israel or the, the kingdom of Morocco, the, 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 the private Jewish organizations that were there. Not Zeche, not a, a thought was was addressed. And it uh, so I did Mishi you know, at the table I did Mishi for, for Jerry. Wow. Yeah, and a uh, bracha for his uh, father-in-law, for his father-in-law, that, she, that we shouldn't uh, forget Chaz uh, and, and it should be it should not be a kitrug, a kitrug Chaz V'Shalom. Anyways, and uh, Adam Ma, so Ma, I take the Ma, Ma is Yud Kevavke, the Shem Hashem, right? Ma, which is Olam Ayitzira, which is the Adam. Ashiv Lashem, right? I shiv, I I respond, I bring it back to Hashem. Right, I connect it to Yud Kevavke. I take the ma, the Adam that's in me. I take the 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 Adam that's in me, and I, I and I bring it back to the Yud Kevavke to its core essence of Yud Kevavke. Ma Ashil Hashem. And when you do that, call that Moanya. That's when you have all the abundance of Chesed from Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Shomer de Chidush, davar yafem yod. Ma Ashil Hashem. When I take the Adam, the Ma, and I bring it back to his version of Yud Kevavke, I don't, I don't get lost in the translation of the Adam, of what Adam represents in this world. Kol Tagmul Oniyana. Kol is Gematria 50. 50 is the Nun Sha'arebina, the 50 gates, right, that, uh, that Akadosh Baruch Hu has. Tagmul Oniyana, they all shower chesed upon me. Yeah. Ba'u Hashem. That's 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 uh, the introduction of my <laughs> oh. Okay, magic. Kos Yeshuot Esa, and how do I do it? Kos Yeshuot, I take a cup of gratitude for all the all the 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 the, 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 the nisim, all the miracles, and all the redemptions, and all the the the, the savings that Akash Baruch does to me. So a cup of, of, of gratitude I rise, Esa. And I praise the name of HaKadosh Baruch. I praise the name of HaKadosh Baruch. Here the Maral is something nifla. Is it a physical cup? Or... Oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. It says everything a person gets in this world is called the cup. The word kos is your peckle. What, 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 what you're getting in this world. There's two types of kos. There's a kos yeshuot, which is the cup of all the berachot. And there is kos hatare'ela. That's in Yeshaya nun alef. Kos hatare'ela. Lo alenu tzarot. Hashem yishmo. Okay? So the kos, kos, the definition of kos, is what you take, is what you receive. And of course, a cup cannot, is only a definition, the cost is only a cup, is only a cup if you can take it and drink from it, right? Yeah. If you cannot take it and drink from it, it, it cannot be called a cup. You to hold it. So you have to hold it with your, with your hand. We know, and the hand has five fingers. <coughs> so if you take cost, 86, kaf, vav, samir, 86. Add the five fingers to cost. 91, Amen. 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 Which is Emuna. 
that whatever you take, you have to have emunah that is for the best, number one. And it's also the, 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 the merging of the two names of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Yud Kevavke, which is 26, and Amonai, which is 65, 65 and 26, 91. Right? The Chesed and the Din. You bring, and, that, and you take it in your hands. That's Kos. Kos Yeshuaot Esa. I, whenever there's a Yeshua, when, when I see an Nes from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, when I see Beracha from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, every little sign of light every that, that I see I, I rise it I make it important I make it a statement I rise it every miracle every yes because every time there's a Yeshua you see the bracha from HaKadosh Baruch Hu, you see the hand of Hashem an opening every opening every good that comes to your life David Amelia says you know how I see HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Yeshua Otesa. I lift it up. I lift it up. It, what does it mean you lift it up? You make it important. That's what it means. Now, it's, it's relevant. And I say, thank you, Hashem. Is it relevant because you're... You, know, you make it relevant, you meaning you don't... It, it's, not, it's not in your subconscious. It's in your conscience. You see it. You, it, it, you make it a part of your awareness. You're acknowledging. You, exa- you, bravo. You acknowledge it. And you say, thank you, Hashem. Okay. And he says, and you, and Tzarech Hayav Adam Lefarsem, you have to let, you have to not only say thank you and make it and acknowledge it, you have to make sure people hear about it. Hashem made a miracle. Hashem, is great. Hashem does chesed with you. That's called Baruch Hashem. Hodu Hashem kitov. Ki le'olam chazdo. What do we say? Hodu Hashem kitov. Ki le'olam chazdo. We say thank you, HaKadosh Baruch for everything that you do. All the good that you give us. All the opportunity to say thank you. For this I say thank you and I praise it. Every time HaKadosh Baruch gives us opportunity to say thank you. From the moment we open our eyes, that's what we say, Mode Ani Lefanecha, and we say it out loud. It says, it says, why is that so important? It says because the nature of man, says the Maharal, is to be kfui tova, not to show appreciation. <laughs> Apropos of what we just spoke about. I think it's you. No, no. Even if you know it comes from the other, it's hard to say thank you. Because when you say thank you, you show vulnerability, you show dependence, you show weakness. You show lack of, 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 of power. You're not complete. It's only through somebody else or through another source that you're able to reach that potential. People don't like that. So they become kfuitova. The worst midah in Akadosh Baruch Hu's eyes. The worst midah, the, the midah that he hates the most is kfuitova. People that don't know how to appreciate and to say thank you. Not only to him, in general. In general, in general. <clears throat> Akadosh Baruch cannot bear that mida. He cannot, he cannot, he cannot stand it. No. And it's not about, you know, the thank you, the thank you in words or in action, it doesn't matter what it is, yeah? It's not because the person needs it. It's for the person that receives. It. Because when the person say, says thank you properly, He's acknowledging that he received, but that's his way of giving back also. The kavod, the, the regesh, right? The shara kavanot, shara kavanot, or Rabbi Haim Vital, in uh, the inyanim of Lel uh, Shabbat Kodesh. You see the, how all this connects. We spoke about Kosi Shu'otesa, yeah? We lift 
the cup. And when you lift something, it's important. You, you, you share with everybody. Everybody sees the cup. Yeah, of course, Yeshua is that. This is why we lift the cup on every cup we lift, every kiddush we, 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 we do, we lift the cup. Yeah, we lift the cup. Yeah. Mishpahag, Saba Kadisha, Saba Rabba, our ancestors, we take, we take the cup, take the cup, okay? We have a plate and we hold it like this with the five fingers so that the 86 plus five equals 91. Yeah? And with the, we have the cup that is full, why? Because kos male bracha. The Gemara says in Masechet Berachot, kos male, when you have a cup that is full, bracha, it's a siman of beracha. And as Saba Rabbah, Allah Vashon, Masechet Salim, Kukadosh, Beracha, Ber Yaakov says, if you take kos, let's write it bemilui. Kos is kaf, kaf pe. That's 100, right? Kaf, kaf pe. Vav, okay? We're going to see, you can, have, you can write vav, vav, right? Which is 12. Or vav yud vav, which is 22, okay, 22. okay. and Samech, and of course, Samech, right? Samech is Samech, and remember, Samech is always the letter that has Milui, it's Milui, and its letter is the same, right? Samech and Kaf, okay. yeah, yeah. so you have 120 <laughs> and 100, is how much? 220. How much? 220. 220. Okay, had 12? 232. Huh? 232. Okay. Let's, let's now make the gematria of Habracha. Hey, five, five, two, seven, resh, 207, half, 20, 227, five, 232. Wow. Habracha. <laughs> this is why you need the cup full. That's why we fill the cup all the way to the top. Now, we look at, you know, when you see people, we look, I'm giving you the sort of the Kiddush. We look at our forehead. Why? Metzah, Metzah, yalla, let's go, Metzah. Today we're in mathematics. Mem is 40. Sadiq, 90, that's 130. Het, 138. Metzah, Metzah is the forehead. And give me the Gematria of Atzlaha. Five. Five, and Sadiq, 95. Okay. With Lamed, 125, right? 95 and 30, 125. Okay. And eight? 132. One, no. 33. And five? 38. 138. Atzlaha. Okay. When you see when you see your metzah, you bring the atzlaha on the bracha that is inside the cup by being four. You just look at your metzah before you say the bracha, and that's how you bring out the beracha of the cup. And that's how you crystallize the Haberach. How much are you supposed to drink of it? Uh, of course. It's what you drink. Always drink, of course. Always, of course. Why do you need to most of the cup? The whole family or the, or the person? No, they make, they make the Kiddush. They make the Kiddush. Of course. Why? Because uh, if you if you drink half, it's Haberach. When you drink at least 51%, you took out, you have the Baruch. That's the sort oh. of the Rav Kos. That's what you're... Good. Good, that's the sword of the Kiddush, okay? Now, now, Kfuy Tova, Kfuy Tova, the Kfuy Tova is when you don't say, thank you, right? So, we said, the, we said the person has a hard time saying thank you. That's the nature, he doesn't want it. So how do you awake? How do we awake the the rahamim of a person. So going, going back to what I was saying earlier, the Shara Kavanot says as the Inyan to go and kiss the hand of the mother. We go to the mother, we kiss her hand. Or because the, the one father? Huh? Before the father? Before the Kibbutz Avayim, but there is an Inyan to kiss the hand of the mother, Lel Shabbat. Why? Because the mother is Midat Adin. And here comes, he brings a son. He says, why do we kiss the hand of the Rabbanim? Of the Chachamim, I guess. So because the hands are midat adin. The hands are midat adin. The fingers are midat adin. That's what I, So when you kiss and the mouth, the chesed, that's where the, all the Torah comes out. Torah chesed al-leshona, right? So when you kiss 
when you kiss the hand and you have to kiss the fingers, not, not, not the palm, the back of the palm, you have to kiss the hand. When you kiss the fingers, what you're doing is that you're appeasing the din, the judgment, it awakes the heart of the person to give you beracha. Okay? When you give kavod to someone, you make him feel good, feels good, you open his heart, I can give a beracha. Yeah? They say when you want a beracha from someone, psychologically it makes sense. Imagine you don't kiss your hand. Even if you're upset at the person, you cannot be like, I gave you the kavod, he's bowing, he's kissing, right? That the, 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 the rahamim, the chassadim, to be able to say thank you, you need anava. Yeah, you need anava, you need to learn to bow. When you bow, that's, and not only that you're able to say thank you, but you open the gaze of, chas, of chassadim upon you. Now, even the din that's in front of you becomes chesed. That's the sword, that's the secret of kissing the fingers. Now, the, the, the shemen sasod, uh -huh. says that you have to, he's the only one who says that we don't follow his, uh, he says you have to kiss the left hand because that is the strongest din, right? There's a right, there's din and there's a very strong din. We don't, we, we, that's, mm -hmm. they, they, we, we, we kiss the right thing, the hand, it's very important to kiss the hand of the mother, the right hand, and we kiss the fingers. We don't kiss the back of the ball, kiss the fingers. And we have in mind that we, when we kiss the hand, that we bring me to Kadinim. We, uh, we soften judgment and we bring Hasadim. What happens if someone's a lefty? Does it matter? It doesn't matter. What happens if you kiss the kiss the left hand? No, we don't know. No, 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 we don't know. No, nothing. You can one kiss both. <laughs> so says 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 the Maharal, says the Maharal. Why do does David Amelech do all this? Because Yeshua Otesa. So that he can overcome the, 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 the basic nature of humans, which is the Kfui Torah, which is to not to not to be grad, not to have gratitude. Yeah. That's why we keep David Amir does all this. Says the Marat to overcome the Kfui Torah. What do we see? We see that if you don't say thank you, by default, you are you 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 are um ungrateful. If you don't say thank you, you are by default ungrateful. David Amelech, that's how he beat, beat the ungratefulness of the nature of man. That the Torah witnesses when the Torah says, that there's another says, why do we lift the cup? A cup, when it's put down, if it's half empty and half full, a person has half empty, half of the, his cup is tarayla, it's not good, and half of the cup is called Yeshua. Yeah. When you drink it. Yeah. So you have half a cup, half a cup, no talk, no, no, no. Person, I got half this, half that. How can you say thank you to Hashem? If you take the cup and you lift it, now you look at you look at it from an angle, it's all full. Right? When you look at a cup from the bottom, it's full. It looks full. When do you see that it's empty or it's half empty? Yeah, when you look from the top, top right? So, right? Yeah. Look at look at look at uh, your cup from the bottom, from the half full. And you always be thanking Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Never, no. Now that's if you look at from the bottom. If you have anava, but if you're on top. And you look at from the bottom, you're always seeing the emptiness. You're always, even if it's a little bit, you're always going to see the, 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 the portion that is empty. With Anava, you're always going to see the cup full. Should we be having a clear Kiddush cup? I'm sorry? Should we have No. 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 Because of, of, of silver, there's a big Indian of the silver. No. I think we're going to stop with this Asuk. Maybe we have one. Nedarai, because this is easy. Nedarai Hashem Hashalem. With all this, all the nedarim that I promise, all the promises that I made to Hashem, Hashalem, I will make it. I will pay. Nerdana lechol amo. Lefarsem Hasheva. And I, when I, when I make nedarim in the times of difficulties. 
I make sure everybody sees that I keep them. What does that mean? That's the mindset. That's the mindset of the person. The person, when he has challenges, he make promises. I will do this, I will do that, I will do this, I will do that. But down the road, says David Amelech, I make sure that everybody knows that whatever I <laughs> promise, I keep no matter what. Even after something gets good. I've had that for sure. For sure. So, so that, so that my, my, my commitment to HaKadosh well, who stays a commitment for life, not uh, uh, when I, exactly, not just when I need it. So that gives us that's the two pesukim you we we learn three pesukim. Ma shiv l'Hashem, you'd bet you gimel you'd dalet neder Hashem. So Baruch Hashem, now we are we are next next shiur v'hazot Hashem tedvav. Shabbat shalom u'mevorah.